defending your religious freedom. Here is Dr. Chaps. Are you ready to pray the news with us? Here's our first story. The United States Supreme Court has upheld a decision by a lower court allowing ultrasounds of prenatal children to be viewed by mothers before they make a decision for abortion. Life News reports, the Supreme Court has upheld a Kentucky law showing women a chance to see an ultrasound of their unborn baby before having an abortion. Ultrasounds are generally done before any abortionist would determine the age of a baby prior to the abortion, but abortion clinics don't normally let the women see their baby because it may influence them to change their mind and stop the abortion. After seeing their child, a woman tends to have second thoughts. But the nation's highest court declined to take up a challenge by liberals against a law which had been upheld by lower courts and the abortion activists were angry about this. For example, the Anti-Christian Liberties Union, ACLU, which represents Kentucky's only abortion clinic, EMW Women's Surgical Center, had asked the courts to strike down the ultrasound mandate. The justices did not comment in refusing to review the federal appeals court ruling, and so the Kentucky law will stand. In early 2017, the Kentucky legislature passed the bill and U.S. District Court David Hale struck it down shortly thereafter. Kentucky Governor Matt Bevin appealed Judge Hale's ruling and in gutting the ultrasound law, which passed overwhelmingly, by the way, the initial judge, Judge Hale, wrote the following, quote, the court recognizes that states have substantial interest in protecting fetal life and ensuring the psychological well-being and informed decision-making of pregnant women. However, HB2 does not advance those interests and impermissibly interferes with physicians' First Amendment rights, end quote. Thankfully, Judge Hale, although he's pro-abortion, was overruled by the Court of Appeals and now by the Supreme Court. So children are being protected somewhat in Kentucky. And that's the news. Our thanks to lifenews.com for that report. Let's take a moment and discern the spirits. In this story, we have human actors. We have uh, Governor Matt, Matt Bevin, thank God. You know, although he has recently lost his election, is no longer governor of Kentucky. He went to court defending the ultrasound law. You also have other human actors in the story, like uh, the women who are deciding whether or not to have an abortion to kill their child. Uh, very difficult decision, emotional decision for many of them. You have these abortion doctors who are refusing to show the ultrasound, and you have the ACLU who's filing a lawsuit uh, with, with judges, all these people involved. But where are the spirits in the story? How can we discern the, the invisible spirits, which may include the spirit of God, the angels, or the demons, which are in the human interest story, we discern them generally through the morality of the human actors involved. For example, let's say you're an abortion doctor and you hear this legal mandate that you've gotta show the ultrasound uh, because it, it may inform the woman and respect her right to know, her right to see what's going on inside of her own womb. But as, a, as an abortion doctor, you also hear this other voice that says, no, no, you'll make more money. You know, there's a spirit of greed here. You'll make more money if you don't show her the ultrasound. Uh, you'll kill more children if you don't show her the ultrasound. And so you disobey the law. Well, that is not only a demonic spirit of rebellion to the law, of personal greed for your own self inurement but it's violating the rights of the woman to know. And then there's a spirit of bloodshed on top of that we discern the evil that is inside of the industry that is killing children. And yet, in the Supreme Court, in the appeals court, in Governor Matt Bevin, who are trying to not only respect a woman's right to know, but to stop the shedding of innocent blood, we discern in you the spirit of Almighty God who loves that child. As it is described in Psalm 139, the Bible says this, God, you formed me in my inward parts. You covered me even in my mother's womb. 
Let's pray about this, would you pray with me? Father in heaven, we pray in Jesus' name for every child who is going to be on camera during those ultrasound procedures, every child that is brought unwillingly into an abortion clinic and, and facing their own death, Father, we pray that you will protect them, that you will deliver them, that every mother will be fully informed, uh, and that even after she sees the ultrasound, it, that she would make a decision for life. Father, we pray your blessing on Governor Bevan as he goes into his next career, on the Supreme Court as they finally got one right. Father, we ask that every child would be protected even from the moment of conception, that abortion would end in America in Jesus' name. Amen. Take action today. Dr. Chaps needs you to sign an important online petition. Today, I wanna to invite you to sign a critical petition to defend innocent babies and to end abortion in America. On this show, we like to pray and petition God, but we also need you to take action today by petitioning Congress to stop the taxpayer-funded child killing especially by defunding Planned Parenthood, America's number one abortion provider. Why are your taxes paying to murder innocent children in the womb? Well, if Congress would simply define personhood as life beginning at conception, we can reverse Roe versus Wade. Please join me today by signing this important petition to Congress. Visit PrayInJesusName.org. Again, that's PrayInJesusName.org and sign your petition today. Sign today's petition right now. Again, visit PrayInJesusName.org to sign our petition right now. Dr. Chaps needs your financial support to stay on the air. Would you please send your best donation today? Please visit PrayInJesusName.org to donate online. Or you can mail a check to Pray In Jesus Name Ministries, Post Office Box 77077, Colorado Springs, Colorado 80970. You can also call us toll free right now at 866-Obey-God. That's 866-O-B-E-Y-G-O-D. Please sign up for our free emails at PrayInJesusName.org. Again, that's PrayInJesusName.org.